hello all today i would like to show you like how you can use podman to create basically deploy a pod and inside the pod you can set up like i'm going to show you how you can use arch linux inside fedora as a container so it's really simple inside a linux machine they use something called namespaces for resource allocation for a pod or a container so essentially what they do is they have all these namespaces like C group, they have C groups, they have process ID, they have like uh, network, network, uh, they have network namespace and they have mount space, they have mount namespace, there are like uh, user space and all these things. So they use um, what namespaces does is they like actually wraps up the total system resource for uh, a process it wraps a global system resource in an abstraction so that it can make a process inside a namespace have its own isolated area every process will be having its own isolated space so it can talk inside the namespace but it cannot talk with other processes something like that if you want to know learn more you can do a man space namespaces if you do that you can view how namespaces work so you have these following namespaces like c group ipc network mount pid and all these things basically these are the things used by a pod or a container to run inside a system there are like run times which are used for the working of the container they have like container d they have docker runtime they have like kata run c and all these things container runtimes are like daemons which i used to run the container without wasting much of your time let's begin you can do an installation of podman on fedora by sudo dnf install Fed podman i'm sorry you have to type dnf not snf like me so if you do that it's going to download and install podman for you so the first thing you can do is podman dash dash help see the available flags and you can see the available commands which you can use with podman basically how you run this is very simple you can use uh, podman pod create and if you want to like uh, use a name for your pod you can specify the name for the pod then inside the pod you just put your containers the way you create a pod in using podman is podman and pod create if you do this just this it's going to create a container with a random name like a pod with a random name i'm sorry not a container so a pod is like something that holds all these containers together we are going to create a pod with name so this is going to be our pod so so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to list podman pod list what this will do is it will show you the available pods inside your system the sample pod is uh, the one which i have created before and uh, this one is the example pod which we have created just now here you have the pod id so when you are issuing any commands to your pod you are going to use either your pod id or your pod name then you have the pod status then you have the creation time infra id and the number of containers present inside the pod you can view like the number of individual containers present inside a single pod by using podman ps dash a dash dash pod so it's going to tell you like sample pod for me sample pod is having this one and this one so i'm running arch linux um, like arch linux container inside sample pod like besides running a distribution container you can also run like nginx to host a web uh, website or something it's entirely up to you you can run apache you can run uh, like nginx whatever you prefer even like if you are into this too much you can even create your own custom penetration testing container it's really up to you adding a container inside like if you view our pods this is not having any container which we have created it's having only the default one which comes when we create it we are going to add a container to this pod before that let me tell you like uh, from where we can pull this basically inside podman 
it stores your container information like if you have uh, you have like two implementations of running pods you can run rooted containers or uh, rootless containers so if you are having root containers your container will be saved in var and lib and inside that you have containers inside that you have uh, storage then if you're having like uh, non-root containers they will be stored inside this location your rootless containers will be stored if you want to know where your containers are stored you can do podman space info so if you do that it's going to give you information about uh, the volume path where it is stored the root path will be this one and all these things you have uh, all this information and you can see the registries so registries are like uh, the locations from where you pull your container image basically it's inside configuration file so you can view that by using your text editor bim sudo bim slash hc slash containers followed by registries.conf so if you go here you have uh, all these available registries so if you want to add something over here you can add that yeah you can follow this pattern uh, like registry mirror so you can use uh, like registries dot search or something and you can specify your registry here registry like yes can specify registries equals inside your square brackets and inside quotes you can specify registry registry dot uh, something dot org that's depending on you like you can choose where you want to pull the registry like the image file you can pull a container image into your existing pod by using podman run i'm going to run arch linux inside uh, the pod which i have created and uh, you can specify flags over here so i'm going to use it i don't want to like uh, detach so i'm not going to use dash d flag i'm just going to use this dash dash rm and dash dash pod and you have to specify the pod name which we have created so you can use uh, whichever name you have given so i'm going to use sample pod and i can specify like uh, before that let me show you how you can search for container images so you can do podman and search if you do something like arch linux it's going to give you oh i'm sorry for that it's going to take some time right now i haven't connected to internet so that you won't be able to see that so if you want to do that you can issue this command to search for your preferred container if you want like next cloud you can do a next cloud and uh, if you want something like nginx you can do that and uh, after that you are you are going to use podman podman space run dash it dash dash rm dash dash pod followed by your pod name so i have already done this before so i already have uh, like uh, the pod location somewhere over here let me see okay so this one was the registry which i copied the image location which i copied so if you do a podman search and arch linux or nginx you are going to see something like this so you can choose it based on the stars of the project so i have chose the first one because the other two images of arch linux have been like uh, deprecated so they are not maintained anymore so i can run this so i can use podman run followed by the dash it dash dash pod sample pod and i can specify the location from where the container image needs to be pulled and i can specify dash bin 
bash bash what this does is it's going to run arch linux container inside a pod which we have created inside fedora so if i go to like settings and if i go to about you can see i'm running fedora so this is fedora 34 workstation pre-release you can see the package manager for arch linux is available because uh, we already have a pod running with arch linux exit out of that so we already have a running container now if we do a podman pod and list we are going to have uh, like these pod have been degraded because i quit out of that so now i have like three containers running if you want to inspect a pod you can specify pod man pod inspect and you have to specify the pod id or the pod name so i'm going to use this for example so if you do that it's going to give you information about the pod here you can see the create c groups and all the other things so you can see the ip status network status and all these things over here if you want to know like the flags available podman run dash dash help if you do that it's going to give you information about the run command in podman so you have like uh, multiple options so you can do like this and you can read through this according to your usage so basically like uh, if you want to run an nginx container which is having a web server a custom host name set which is having a port mapped from 80 to something like 8090 or something you can use podman podman followed by run dash dash rm you can do a dash t so we will have a detached container so it will not take us to a prompt like a terminal prompt you can do a dash t followed by dash dash name and you can specify the name and dash h and you can specify the host name over here so this is the name of the pod and this is the name of uh, like the host name for that followed by dash v small v and you can specify the path followed by dash p specifying the port so we are going to port like map 8090 port 8090 to port 80 of the container and nginx so if you do that going to pull your virtual image from your location specified and it's going to have a host name of this and this is the name of the pod and you have uh, like podman and you can specify ps a so it's going to give you all the information regarding your running containers if you want to see like total file sizes you can specify dash s then you have like uh, podman ps followed by dash dash ns and dash a so if you do that it's going to give you information regarding the namespace yeah so you see c groups your ipc your mount your network namespace your pids your user and all these things so you can read that and you can see all those information you can see the pods like you can see the containers in which if you don't know where a container is present you can view that by portman dash ps dash a dash p if you do that it's going to give you Oh, I'm sorry if you do that it's going to give you information regarding the pod name and inside the pod where the container is like which container is present inside the pod so if you want to know that you can do that then you can use podman inspect followed by the container name then you have podman images so it's going to give you all the information on the containers which are currently inside the system podman inspect 
it's going to give you information regarding that you can use uh, a pod as a systemd service basically if you create a container and if you do a reboot you will not have that uh, container or the pod running after you reboot so for that you have to create a systemd service so how you do this is uh, you create using your text editor you create a service file a systemd unit file so you create that inside slash hc you need to be a root user or a super user with super user privileges or else you cannot create that so i'm just going to show you how you can like do something like system t followed by you have to specify system specify your service name like uh, example dot service you have to specify the unit name if you go through something like arch wiki you can see how you can create a systemd service so you have to specify description and you can give the description for the pod so if you are using something like nginx you can specify portman nginx something like that nginx server something like that and you can specify after the target so network dot target because it's a web server you need network dot target then you can specify the service here you have to type like specify the type of service so you have to type like a simple or something then you can specify the interval when the process needs to be restarted so i'm going to specify always so if i do that it's going to restart the service as soon as um, it's terminated or something so you will have that nginx pod like nginx container running always so it will save you some time now you have to specify the location exec start and you have to specify slash user sorry slash user followed by bin slash podman followed by run and you have to specify your command like dash dash rm dash d dash dash name you have to do that over here like uh, your pod name followed by for example if you're having a host name you can specify the host name then you can do dash v and dash v after that you have to specify the location slash home and uh, you get the idea you have to specify the username and you can specify the image location like colon so this one if you do that it's going to give you the default nginx login like html you have to specify the port after this 8090 or 8080 according to you followed by the port which it needs to be mapped from port 80 of the container and you have to specify nginx so that is done and you can specify xx stop you have to do that and you can specify like so what this is going to do is it's going to create a systemd unit file so after that you have to save and exit this file so i'm going to quit out of this because i don't want this so you can create a service like this and you can exit out of that then you can enable system ctl enable service name it's going to start so for that you need to have super user privileges or you need to be a user with super user privileges so what this will do is it will enable the service so on the next reboot you're going to have uh, access to pod running always when you boot the system so if you want to enable right now you can specify dash dash now so it's going to enable and start the service so if you have any doubts you can always ask in the comment section i hope you all have a wonderful day